Hi, I'm David Loeb. Welcome to the March 13th episode of Learning Points from the Common Game. On board one, we see a two over one game force auction where North South have a choice of games. North opens one spade. South's two club response is a two over one game force. There's no need for natural jump shifts in a game forcing auction. North's jump to three hearts is a splinter bid, showing four or more card support for clubs and a singleton or void in the hearts. Five clubs is the game of last resort. I'll include a link to our game priorities article. Three no or four of a major are preferred games if they're viable compared to an 11 trick club game that scores only 20 per trick. South is concerned about three no given North's heart shortness. So South bids four clubs. That gives North a chance to suggest four spades as a final contract. South's four club bid isn't slow arrival, showing slam interest. Fast arrival and slow arrival don't apply in two over one game force because your partner's hand is unlimited. North has no slam interest. They don't believe that playing in a 5-2 spade fit would be viable, assuming that their partner has four spades. They're gonna be tapped in hearts. They may have difficulty drawing trump so North settles on five club and their five club bid ends the auction. North finesses against uh, the spade king. East is likely to duck, but the spade 10 will fall and a roughing finesse allows Declare to win 11 tricks. The same plus 400 score is available in a three no contract. For those interested in learning more about two over one game force, I'll include a link to our article and to our video lesson series. The style of two over one game force that we teach is the easiest and most natural way to find the right games and slams. On board two, West opens one diamond. North now has a choice between overcalling one no or doubling. North is in the range for a one no trump overcall, typically 15 to 18 high card points. The problem with overcalling one no is that it risks missing a major suit fit. If South has a four card major, they won't always have the points needed to use stamen. So North prefers to double. They're only a point shy of doubling and bidding a no trump. And they have a nice honor combination in spades. So uh, North prefers to treat their hand as a bit of an upgrade because of the potential upside of ensuring that you find a, an eight card major suit fit if it's available. So North doubles for takeout. Now South has four hearts and four spades. When you're advancing a takeout double and you have a two suitor, you tend to bid the higher ranking suit first to give you a potential rebid because the auction may proceed and your partner may double again and may not have a fit for the first suit. So you want to be in a position to show your second suit. So it's a uh, standard uh, to bid your higher ranking suit first and bidding at the one spade level, the minimum level, uh, South is showing uh, zero to eight points. West may well compete in clubs. From North's perspective, a game isn't likely opposite zero to eight points. So North simply raises to two spades and that will likely buy the contract. Playing in two spades, the standard line with the heart combination is to lead a low heart towards the king and then finesse against East for the heart jack. This provides a 48% chance for three heart tricks and does so here. The player wins nine tricks, four spades, three hearts, one diamond, and one club. The same tricks are available in a heart contract.
at tables where North prefers to overcall one no Trump rather than double for takeout, South has a choice between passing or using Stamen to look for a major suit fit. Using Stamen works well if North has a four card major. If North doesn't have a four card major, South doesn't have the values to bid to no, which would invite game. So South would use crawling Stamen, that is, they would bid two hearts, asking North to bid their better major. Now, a 4-3 fit would likely play well. The suit may break well. South will have trouble drawing Trump. South's hand is no Trump oriented, balanced with slow honors. Passing seems best. When South uses Stamen, they'll land in two hearts and win nine tricks, as we just discussed. In no Trump, seven tricks are available on a a club lead on a diamond lead, seven or nine tricks will be available depending on whether West rises with the ace of diamonds and then shifts to a club, which would hold declared to seven tricks. On board four, North opens one spade. South's two diamond response is a two over one game force. Using the easy natural style of two over one game force that we teach, North's two spade rebid shows six or more spades. South doesn't want to advertise a balanced hand, so South rebids their diamonds. North can't bid three no with a singleton heart, but doesn't want to bypass three no either. Three no is one of the high priority games. So North temporizes with a three spade rebid. South's three no trump bid is natural and to play. Now North has a choice of passing three no or making a slam try by bidding four diamonds. North has 17 support points and a potential source of tricks in spades. South will have stoppers in clubs and hearts, the unbid suits for their three no trump bid. South may have some wasted heart honors opposite North Singleton. South has at most two spades on this auction. Slam chances are good if spades can be established in time and South has the necessary controls. Even so, there's potential entry problems. This dissuades North from bypassing 3-0 and making a slam try. North chooses to play 3-0. Playing in 3-0, Declare has 10 quick winners. A heart lead or a club lead gives Declare their 11th trick. On a spade lead, a losing finesse holds Declare to 10 tricks. Declare must rise with the spade ace and guess the club queen to win 11 tricks. On a passive diamond lead, Declare must guess the club queen to win 11 tricks. At tables where North decides to pull 3 no and bid 4 diamonds as a slam try, South with 17 length points will accept the slam try. In six diamonds, West will likely lead a high heart. Against the slam, it's common to play the lead of an ace, ask for attitude, the lead of the king, ask for count. Here that's not relevant when dummy tables with a singleton heart. On a heart lead, the Claire can take a roughing finesse against West's remaining heart honor and win 12 tricks. On a passive lead, Declare can win all the tricks with a roughing finesse against the spade king. We'll conclude with a look at board five, where North has a choice between opening one heart or opening one no trump. It is common to open one no with a five card major to avoid rebid problems. Here, North's 17 high card point hand merits an upgrade. It merits an upgrade because of North's strong heart suit, also because aces are worth a bit more than their four high card points. So North prefers to open one heart. When South raises to two hearts, North wants to make a game try. Help suit game tries often help defenders because they tell the defenders where help is needed. It's better to use game tries which ask where help is available. With that agreement, North's to spade bid, the next step is an artificial game try. South declines the game try. For those interested in learning how to invite game without helping the opponents, 
I will put a link in the description of this video to our article on gang tries. For those who prefer uh, video lessons, a video lesson is available at a nominal fee. At tables where North doesn't upgrade their hand and opens one no trump to avoid rebid problems, South has a choice between using stamen to look for a potential heart fit or transferring to two spades. Stamen works well if North has a four card major. South can just pass two of North's major. The problem is if North doesn't have a four card major. It's common to play a two spade rebid after the one no trump opener denies a four card major as invitational. So with that agreement, South cannot use Stamen. South simply uses a Jacoby transfer to play two spades. East will lead their singleton heart. Declare wins and leads a spade. East rises with the spade king, and West will play their spade ten or jack. East needs to find West's entry in order to hold Declare to nine tricks. This requires a, a club shift. Any other lead allows Declare to win 11 tricks if they get the spade rights. Declare who play East for Ace Jack third or Ace 10 third will take a losing fa finesse and win just nine tricks. Declares who smother West remaining spade will win 11 tricks. East is likely to lead the spade ace against uh, three hearts. West signals with the spade jack. That should be encouraging whether you are playing standard signals or upside down signals. East-West can win three tricks by either cashing two spades and navigating a spade rough. A club shift to trick two also uh, provides a third trick, but East-West don't have the time to get both their club trick and their spade rough. So Declare will win 10 tricks. At tables where North opens one no, South has a choice between using a Jacoby transfer to two spades or bidding two clubs to look for a potential heart fit. Now for most Thanks for playing in the common game and thanks for watching this video. Please visit lowbridge.com for articles and video lessons to help you improve and have more fun at the bridge table. Please subscribe to this channel. Please comment and like the video to encourage sharing this video with more bridge players. Thanks again.